Welcome to Camps On Demand. My name is Amanda and I am one of the trainers here. Today we are going to do a 15 minute workout with a foam roller. It's a new prop, it's not gonna be anything too crazy, too intense, but you do get to make it what you want it to be. So let's uh, get to it. We do have the playlist that's gonna be on the bottom right hand corner if you wanna use that. Let's put that up to about 50%. You're gonna put the volume on me up a little bit higher and we're gonna get started. A quick, easy, but fun and effective full body 15 second, or sorry, 15 minute um, workout. So we're actually gonna start on the floor with your feet on top of the foam roller. All right, check it out. Let's go in for glute bridges. So you're gonna place both of your feet on your foam roller, friends. Arms are gonna come right down next to the body. Ready, let's just lift your hips up, push your feet really firmly down into that foam roller, lower the hips down. So we just lift and lower. When your feet are on the foam roller, just gives you a little bit more range of motion so that when you lift your hips, you can feel those glutes and those hamstrings a little bit more. At the top, you wanna squeeze and try your best not to let that foam roller move around. Get your shoulders down into the mat, into the floor. Good, keep that foam roller as still as you can get it. Good work. Now, we're halfway in, we're gonna hold it up we're just gonna push the foam roller out, pull it in. Small little slides out and in. If you wanna go more, you extend all the way, you pull it all the way in. Going over the heel of the foot is gonna be that challenge. Try your best to keep your hips lifted the whole time. Abs are strong, ready, last five, four, tight core, three, two, readjust, realign, lower yourself down. Ready, we're gonna lift all the way up, hold. Right foot marches, bring it down. Left foot, lower. So the idea of this here is that we wanna keep those hips lifted and we wanna keep them stable. Try your best to keep those hips right in the same line the whole time. Like if you were balancing like a cup of water right here on that pubic bone. Whew, tight abs. If at any point you feel that lower back, really tuck that tailbone a little bit more or you lower down, give yourself a moment, and then come right back up. In a second, we're gonna stay lifted, right leg up at the top in three, two, one. Lower the hips, lift, lower, whew. Really feel that hamstring, mine is on fire. Good, almost there, 10 seconds away. We get to go back to those marches. Ready, last five, four, three, Two, lift up, hold, place your foot down, start marching. Pull that foam roller in just a little bit closer. If it's rolling away from you, right? You wanna put more pressure down into that foam roller so that you keep it as close to you as possible. Abs in, really, really strong. Whew. All right, ready friends? That left leg is gonna come into that tabletop position in four, in three, in two, and one left leg up. We lower the hips, lift and squeeze, down and up. The challenge is keeping that foam roller in nice and still. Whew. Good work. Come on, push through that knee all the way forward over your toe. Five, four, we march three, two, one. Foot down, tuck the pelvis a little bit more, start lifting. Push the feet down into that foam roller. You should be feeling your hamstrings, tight abs. If your lower back is flaring up, lower down. Give yourself a second or two. Come back in, last 10 seconds. <sighs> Ready, last five, four, three, two. Stay lifted, push the carriage, not the carriage, the foam roller in and out. If you don't know, I teach Pilates and we actually do this on the reformer. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Push the legs in and out, get those hips up high. Ready, last five, four, three, two. Roll all the way down. Give your knees a nice big hug. Woo, good. Extend your legs, put your feet on top of the foam roller. Rather, a little bit more like your calves. We're gonna go into a reverse plank position here. So the fingertips are gonna face your tush. You're gonna lift your hips all the way up. Now walk your hands a little bit closer so that your calves roll onto that foam roller. For that reverse um, crunch, we're gonna pull the hips back, reach up, lift. 
pull the hips back, round that spine, push up and lift. Reverse crunch right here. Feel those abs working. Push the hips up at the top, pressing the hands into the ground. Lift up. Good. If you feel like that foam roller is sliding a little too much, just walk your feet a little closer. Exhale to come in, lift up high. Open up that chest, feel the shoulders, feel the arms. Almost there, ready? Last 10 seconds. In and out. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down, send your feet down. Foam roller goes behind you now. Hands are gonna go onto the foam roller. We're gonna lift your hips up. I like to hold on to my foam roller this way. If you have a hole, go for it. If not, you're gonna have to stabilize with your hands on it just like this. Good, ready? Tricep dip in three, two, one. Bend and extend. Bend and extend. My knees are bent. I get my tailbone to slightly touch the floor. Elbows reach right behind you. You lift up tall. Keep going. Nice deep breaths. Now, just holding that foam roller in place is what's gonna make this extra hard than if you do this on the floor or up on something, because the roller is gonna add a little bit of instability, right? So give yourself a little bit of grace, but really try your best to keep that foam roller, woo, nice and still. Almost there, woo. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Bend the elbows halfway, just hold and breathe. Good, ready? We pulse in three, two, one. Eight, seven, come on, six, five. It's 15 minutes, we're almost there. Three, two, one. Take a second, relax those arms. We're gonna go into a reverse plank, hands stay on the foam roller. Maybe open the hands out a little bit wider if you need to. Ready, three, two, one. Lift your hips, walk your feet out, get them up high. Just hold, squeeze. Open up that chest, tight abs, tight booty. Just breathe, just breathe. Ready, we lower the hips, we come back up in three, two, one. Down, lift, hold. Feel those arms, feel your triceps. Breathing in and out, push through the heels, lift up tall. We lower, we lift, three, two, one. Bring it down, take that second, ready? Come back up, push through the heel of the hand, Lift the hips, stabilize that foam roller. Whether your hands are like this or facing in towards you, same idea. Five, four, three, two, one. Down, we have one more set. Then we go into tricep dips, ready? In four, in three, two, all the way up, lift. Good, now I'm just gonna ask you to walk your feet in, lift your hips up, change your hands however you need. We go into those dips, ready? In three, two, one. Elbows back and up. Feel those arms. Come on. Last 10 seconds. I know you're burning. I know it's hard. Whew. Come on. Up and down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Place the foam roller in between your calves or your ankles. You're gonna extend your legs and turn over onto your right side. My right forearm is gonna come onto the ground. Left hand comes right behind my neck. Ready, you're gonna push off, bring your elbow to knee or bend, lay right back down. Pull it in and extend. Now this is easy with a short foam roller. If you have a longer foam roller, make sure that you have your legs in the center of the foam roller so that it's even weight. The longer the foam roller is, the harder this becomes, just because you really have to control the weight of that foam roller. Feel those obliques, push from that right forearm, and extend out. Nice work. Whew. Come on, 15 seconds. We're hitting that 10 minute mark. Almost there, almost done, almost out of here. A quickie, but a goodie. We go straight to the other side. In three, two, I'm just gonna swing. You can just turn, go for it. Nice. Elbow to knee. Your legs can stay straight to make it harder. You bend your knees in to make it a little bit more accessible. 
Really feel those obliques. That's the side of the ab wall. Come on. There we go. Last 30. You're going to drop your foam roller. You'll meet me in a high plank position. Hands on the foam roller. Almost there. 10 seconds. I'm like switching between the bent knee and the long legs. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. High plank position. Hands on the foam roller. Step back, step back. Just hold. Belly all the way in. Tight core. Now try to flatten out the stomach and pull it in and up. Good. Just holding here. Slow, slow mountain climbers. Pull it in. Step back. Pull it in. Step back. Try not to sink into your wrist. Whether your hands are on the outside or here, I want you to push away from the foam roller. Don't sink into it. Really feel the abs pulling, pulling in. Nice and tight. Good work. Come on, come on. Last five, four, three, good, two, and one. Lower the knees, extend your legs all the way out. Place your forearms on the foam roller. Pull them in rather a little bit closer to the elbows and your forehead on the foam roller. You're gonna leave your feet on the ground as we lift the chest up, bend the elbows to come in, find that nice extension and then extend your arms, lay yourself back down. You press the hands or the arms into the foam roller, slide the shoulders away from the ears as you come up, and then you lower yourself back down. Again, pull it in, lift that chest, lay yourself back down. <sighs> Try to release your glutes, try not to squeeze them. I have a super hard time doing that. But think about pressing down to go up. Right, we don't wanna dump into the low back. Good. Forearms will stay on the foam roller. We're gonna go into a forearm plank position. Ready, in five, four, three, two, one. Lift yourself up and just hold. Good, legs in all the way. Super tight, 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 belly all the way in. Good. Now, we're gonna move the arms forward and back. Really small, kind of like a sawing motion. Good, really find that control, guys. In and out, in and out. Abs in for five, four, three, two, and lower the knees, take a moment. Hands on the outside or on top of it, cat cow. We round, we push up and through. So think of this as a rest for those shoulders. Good. All right, we're about to find that hovering knee position, that bear plank that we like to call. Tuck the toes under in three, two, one. Lift the knees and just hold. Good, we're gonna step back, step back. Give me a push up, step in, step in. Back, back, tricep push up, pull it in and in. Back, back. Now, for the tricep push up, if you need to lower the knees, lower the knees, lift the knees, step in for that bear plank. Good. So, this is like uh, making it a little bit easier because we're inclined. The push-up is still hard, of course, because we're trying to keep those elbows pulled in, right? But I want you to think that you're higher off the ground so you have less, less like room to go, right? So pull out or step out, step back in. Good, and then find that push-up. It should be hard. It should be a challenge. Good work. Ready? Five, four. Three, two, one. Right foot on the outside. I'm turning to you. Left foot on the outside. Bring that foam roller up. Bring it in. Come down. Hop or step it back. Hop or step it in. Push up. Come on. 
let's go. Get a little bit of cardio in, a little bit of those legs in. We start on the floor, we're gonna end standing. Pop squat, good, into an overhead press. If you have one of those longer foam rollers, then hold it out to the side as you bring the arms up and over. Almost there, last 15. Good work. Push. All right, we're coming into your last minute, guys. We're coming up and around and into a full burpee. It looks like this. Up and around. Squat, push it back. Bring it up and around to the other side. Squat, bring it back in three, two, one. I want you to find that upper back mobility reaching over, stretching out the side of the body, squat, bring the foam roller into you, pull it in. Even if it's a long one, do as much as you can, rounding around, squat, hands on it, bring it back. Good. Last 30 seconds to keep those arms wide. I know is a challenge. Just do the best you can. Ready? Last 15 seconds. This ends your 15 minute foam roller workout. Eight seconds. Ready? Last four, three, two. I'm finishing it off. Woo! One. Nice work. So that was just a little bit of full body, guys. Right? 15 seconds. We did legs, we did core, we did arms. You got it. We did some abs. So I hope you enjoyed that. Come back, do it again. Maybe do like two or three rounds of this and then follow up with the foam roller stretch that's coming up. See you guys soon.